All right, boys and girls, so here we are. And yes, I'm using the GoPro to take this video. Hopefully the sound is coming through. Otherwise I will end up overdubbing this. But this is the st stock shot. It does end up bolting here and onto here. These are the actual bolts that came with the aftermarket shocks. Uh, as you can see, there is some play on here, but man, let me tell you, the ride after installing these is so much better. Now, I do have to be honest, I actually did end up ordering another set of these. Um, these, for myself, I weigh about 210, and uh, I did some calculations going by other people's charts, and I got a 350 per, uh, pound per square inch on each one and if i'm honest um, i should have gotten more this works perfectly fine but i wish there was more rebound um, the other shocks that i got are the same brand um, they are the 291 r's though so there is an adjustment knob so that you can control the recoil on how quickly or how slow that ends up doing um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how freaking easy it was to change these out. Now, what you're going to need is your trusty uh, heavy duty Allen wrench. And I know I got the wrong one there. Where am I? I always forget which one I need. This one. Um, one of the things that you're going to need to do is you are going to need to pick up uh, some quarter inch or number eight washers. Uh, I got 20 of them and I actually ended up using all 20 of them. Um, so for this, like I said, taking them off was pretty easy and there's freaking mosquitoes everywhere, which are tearing me up. And I would suggest after your first couple rides to um, definitely check and retighten these down. Now, when you take off the initial shocks, you're going to be, if you don't have it propped up, you're going to um, think that you don't have enough room. This actually swings down, the, the main arm for the motor actually swings down enough that you could probably put 150 millimeter. Um, but the, the best size that ended up finding everyone is using is 125 millimeter. Now, one of the reasons that you want to use the washers is because if you don't, this won't bolt in all the way and you do want to push it out a little bit because these are wider than the standard shocks and it'll hit the uh the motor arms um once i'm done and you do kind of have to do this evenly to not put any binding on there i'm not undoing both of them right now i'm just showing you how this ends up going so this nut comes off of the standard uh shock that was on here i just put it back on uh, i put a washer on this side where the head of the bolt is just to make sure it's nice and secure there is a rubber grommet here rubber grommet here i put four of the washers and then the nut and then you just tighten down this nut and then it'll fit just fine on the downside you do the same thing there are two different size uh, bolts on here washer then you have your main and slide through i guess you want to end up calling it and then four more washers just to make it even it does end up being even and i don't know if you can see the bolt hole is right here like i said once you end up um taking off the get out of here b um once you take off the other shocks this whole section will actually drop down another inch or two so you could put bigger ones if you really wanted like a crazy suspension on there um, i don't i just want a nice smooth ride so what I ended up doing is placing this on. I start this top one first. You do kind of want to hold these because these washers will pop off. But I just get started. And yes, the GoPro is actually mounted to the rear fender of the scooter. And that's because I have to run to Home Depot and get a new bob for the toilet. So what I will do is I will record that so you guys can see how this ends up working. So for these shocks, I got them on um, AliExpress. They were like 36, depending on who you end up getting them from, um, it can range from like 36 to 42. So they're not overly expensive. The other ones that I have coming, which should be here in about two weeks, and I'll show you how those go on too and how those end up working. Those were a little more expensive. Those were about $52 each. But 
they are more um, involved. Now, if you want a little bit stiffer or a little bit looser, you can loosen up this big nut, tighten it down to give more resistance or loosen it up if you really want a squishy ride. Um, but that's it guys, it is super simple. Um, one thing I will note and I won't, I can't show you in the angle that I'm at is watch this cable for the, the brake line that, uh, or brake light that comes up through here. I was noticing that I had a sound, um, and I actually thought it was the brakes because it was like a da -da 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 -da. and it actually ended up being the cable, um, was a little bit loose in there and it actually was rubbing on the tire. Definitely. I mean, wearing headphones and ear things are perfectly fine. I do it, but I would definitely keep an eye uh, or ear open for different things. Only thing I wish is that I could adjust that front uh, suspension. It's fine. But my problem is if there's any ledges, I don't like the fact that it bottoms out dropping. Um, it, it's never bottom out, it's never bottom out compressing this way. It's always this way that ends up um, bottoming out. Um, but that's it for this section. Uh, we're going to get this off this little ghetto rack and uh, we're gonna go to Home Depot. All right, so hopefully the back camera is picking up the suspension. Damn it, I hate when they park like that. Jesus. Come on, people. There's not too much noise to have the mic under my shirt. Just want, I just want the battery to last long enough to go over the speed bump. Someone forgot to charge the GoPro. I'm not going to name names. It is so much smoother. I cleaned this back brake and forgot to readjust it.
place when I get out. We will kick you back on. guys um, it takes a licking and uh, evidently keeps on ticking so uh, we're gonna cut this one short <laughs> <laughs> 